Hey, I'm Will and welcome to Inspire By. In this series, we delve into a particular area of production interest and I try to ignore the face cut and the toenails in the background. This season we're looking at all things phase plant. If you haven't seen my previous introduction to phase plant, make sure you go check that out and then you can hop over this way. We're looking at creating you two sounds, one that's like an introductory pad vocal synth, um, and then one that you can switch between, which is this really popular trappy tape stop roast beat style. Let's jump into it. Okay, so let's open our instance of phase plant, and we're just gonna start with a sampler instrument. It's already got an output, uh, and I'm gonna drag in a vocal sample from Splice. I've already trimmed it. So I've got the part that I need. What I would do is advise that you either create your own or manipulate. <clears throat> Starting again. Or if you do grab your own from Splice, manipulate it, make it your own, and then drop it into our sampler instrument. So I've got my sample here and I've just put it into its root note. So whatever note your sample begins at, you wanna check that against like the EVP88 and just make sure that what you're playing is the actual note. So if I play a C in my sample, I want it to be C on the you know, logic built in. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a loop and it's gonna be a ping pong loop. This means that when this loop plays, it's gonna go forward and then it's gonna go back. A sneaky infinite loop. So if we choose a section like this and we create a fade, we'll give it about 30% fade. That's just gonna hide where the loop starts and where it ends. Now the first thing that we're trying to do is create a pad out of this. So I want it to have like a long attack and a slow release so I can change the notes of the chord as I'm going along. I'm gonna give it about quite a long attack, maybe a second and a half. And I'm gonna bring the release up. The release can go to about 180. I'm gonna bring the release up a little bit more. That's essentially it for our initial patch. I'm gonna create a, a custom LFO. Unlike last video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a square wave custom. I'm gonna set it for eight over eight. Go there again, for eight over eight. So we'll drag that up, drag that down. I'm gonna set it to bipolar. And just bring it to about, I don't know, 53%. <laughs> and we're just gonna drag it so we have this one section that dips down. And that's gonna be the trigger for our tape slow effect. Once that's done, you're onto your effects. Do so we're gonna choose this thing? Still don't know the name. I'm gonna bring it down to about two milliseconds. Uh, we're also gonna add delay. Delay, 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 delay. Three over 16 sync, uh, turn ping pong on, and just bring your feedback down to about 30%. Everything else can stay the same. Finally, we're gonna use this trance gate, which is really nice. I'm gonna bring it down to 16, the attack down, decay and sustain to about 30, and turn your mix all the way off. So far in Inspired By, we've only used one lane of effects. Today we're gonna to use two. We're gonna control both of these lanes via the macro. Scroll up, lane two, tape stop effect. We have quite a long stop time with this one. Quite a short start time. So we're making sure that we always start on the beat. The audience gets a sense of the sound. Add some reverb. And the decay down some. Size is fine on 100. Let's bring our mix down to about 10%. And then finally, what we want to do is we want to create a free band EQ. This means that when you turn on uh, your gross beat style effect, that we're actually dropping out all of the bass from our original sample and taking down some of the higher, just so it sits more as a texture in our instrument than a lead sound. Low all the way down, higher maybe. Minus eight on the high, that's fine. So we have our macros at the top here. Macro one, we're gonna send that to 
the mix of our trance gate. That means that when we turn this macro on, it turns our trance gate on. Other than that, we're still going to have the delay. We're still going to have uh, our stereo field. Macro two, we're actually going to send this to lane two. And as we turn macro two on, our tape stop reverb and free band EQ come into play as well. Finally, we want to add our LFO to the tape stop here. Now I've actually mapped the pots of my get in frame. And I've actually mapped the pots to the macros. So as I turn one up, it reflects that on the screen as well. To do this, all you want to do is go to Logic Pro and Control Surfaces, go Learn Assignment, and you can even set it to Easy View. Then you just want to select the thing to control and then select the pot to control it. Okay, so let's record something using the macros and both sets of effects. And there we have it, we've successfully created a vocal pad and that trap gross beat sound using the same sample, uh, making use of the macros as well. Thanks for watching another Inspired By video. Let me know what you want to see next time. Please continue to like, subscribe and share these videos, it's super helpful. A few of you have asked for presets to some of the sounds that I've made. So if you go to my website, I'm going to start sharing serum patches and phase plant patches of the few things that we've made so far. And I'll continue to post project templates and the patches that we make in future videos there too. Make sure you tune in next time while we- ah. Make sure you tune in next time and for now I'll fucking do whatever the fuck. Super professional.